from their cutting-edge technology like the SLJ900 to their unique blend of old and new construction methods, these are stories of how China built megaprojects so fast. If we're talking about global superpowers in the construction industry, China has really made its mark. And they've managed to do so by not only having a large workforce, but by having the perfect blend of human capital and mind-blowing machinery. I mean, did you know that in the past decade alone, China has constructed a whopping 6,000 kilometers of roads every year? Yup, every single year. Now, traditionally, building mega projects like bridges isn't a walk in the park, but China have managed to overcome that, and it's all thanks to innovations like the SLJ900. Developed by the Beijing Wow Joint Machinery Company, this is not your regular construction equipment. It's roughly 300 feet long, 24 feet wide, and weighs an astounding 580 tons. This beast of a machine is designed with such precision that in its operational lifespan, it can assist in building around 750 bridges. Now that's impressive, but here's the catch. For the SLJ900 to operate efficiently, the bridge towers must be meticulously built in their designated places. Once that's sorted, the machine can extend beyond the pre-made bridge section to place another one, and then another, and another. It's almost like a domino effect, but with enormous bridge sections. And get this, even when it's carrying its maximum load, this mechanical marvel can move over five kilometers per hour. That's way quicker than a traditional crane, which stays in one spot. Before this innovation, massive cranes were the go-to for laying down bridge sections. And if you've ever watched a crane in action, you'd know that while it's mesmerizing, it's not the quickest process. There's a lot of waiting, adjusting, and manual labor involved. But with the SLJ900, aka the Iron Monster, it's a different story altogether. With its 64 wheels, this machine can move both forward and sideways, placing bridge sections with a kind of precision and speed that's truly revolutionized the bridge construction process. Because of that, this machine is making waves internationally, with countries like Russia and India showing a lot of interest. The SLJ900 has already lent its capabilities to several high-speed rail projects, one notable mention? The new link connecting Inner Mongolia to the rest of China. But hold on to your hard hats, because if you thought the Iron Monster was a big deal, wait till you hear about Kunlun. Named after one of Asia's longest mountain ranges, this machine is the ultimate box girder erector. What does that mean? It lays down the support beams for bridges, especially those spanning across challenging terrains like mountains or vast waterways. The people over at China Railway Construction Corporation, who are the brains behind the Kunlun, say that this machine is a global first. And from what I've researched, it truly is an unmatched leap in road and railway bridge engineering. And the tech behind it is absolutely next level. And we have proof of its capabilities. The Kunlun was instrumental in erecting the first thousand-ton box girder for the Fuzhou Xiamen High-Speed Railway Bridge back in June 2020. And here's a fact to blow your mind. While the iconic Golden Gate Bridge took four years to construct at just about three kilometers long, the Fuzhou Bridge, which is nearly 15 kilometers, that's about five times longer, by the way, is projected to finish in just two years. Efficiency at its finest. But the awesomeness doesn't end there. According to the State Council, with Kunlun on the job, you can expect to save around 20% on girder erection costs and speed up the entire process by a quarter. If you think tunnels might be a challenge for this behemoth, think again. It's been designed to work inside tunnels too, albeit with a bit of disassembly. This past year, it's been laying beams inside tunnels, giving China a massive advantage in low-cost bridge construction. One feature of the Kunlun that stands out is its laser matrix system. This technology allows the machine to scan its surroundings and navigate autonomously within tunnels. On top of that, it's built like a tank. This beast is constructed using high-strength steel plates. And if you're wondering just how strong that is, this is the same stuff used to build aircraft and submarines. Yeah, we're talking that kind of tough. It's clear that China's advancements in tunneling technology are notable. Not long ago, European manufacturers were the primary suppliers of tunneling machines. However, by 2019, China began exporting its tunneling equipment to Europe for significant projects, such as the high-speed railway between Milan and Verona. A few years back, Chinese companies took the lead by reverse engineering tunneling equipment. Now, why is this big news? Their revamped machines outpace even their Japanese and European competitors, both in efficiency and cost. Just to give you an idea, 
For 10 million, these Chinese machines can tunnel up to 10 kilometers in a day. Compare that to tunneling costs in the US, where each kilometer sets you back over 50 million. That's not just cost effective, it's revolutionary. One of the stars in this field is the CRCA Chai tunneling machine. Born and bred in China, it played a pivotal role in the Gen Chinese Strode Highway project under the Gentang River. Just to paint a picture for you, this machine has a diameter of 15 meters, making it one of the biggest tunneling machines out there. Its specs are impressive, a max excavation speed of 50 millimeters per minute and an installed power of 1,755 kilowatts. And like its peers, it can both tunnel and establish tunneling walls in one go. The point is that China's tech is helping them craft networks of roads and railways faster than ever. The Mombasa-Nairobi railway track, for example, spans a whopping 480 kilometers and was completed a staggering 18 months ahead of schedule back in 2017. And the speed at which they laid the tracks, an amazing 700 meters every day, with each section installed in just about four minutes. It's all thanks to state-of-the-art track laying equipment. We've discussed their trailblazing pace in rail track laying, but I need to emphasize just how groundbreaking the 500 Cypriot pounds machine truly is. With the capability to lay down two kilometers of track in a single day, it played a pivotal role in the creation of the first segment of the upcoming China-Laos railway track. This isn't just another railway project, it's projected to be Asia's longest railway track outside of China. It's almost mind-boggling to realize that within a span of four years, China managed to nearly triple their track-laying efficiency, from 700 meters to 2 kilometers per day. But let's not let railways overshadow another fascinating facet of China's construction world. Skyscrapers Every year, China stakes its claim on erecting half of the world's skyscrapers. It's a colossal feat, and it's worth wondering, how do they achieve this? With the help of a machine known as Bao Nut, Weighing in at a staggering 2,000 tons, the bow nut has the ability to construct a floor every four days. And here's the kicker. Even at dizzying heights of 500 meters, it remains steady, capable of withstanding hurricane-strength winds. It's truly a testament to the forward-thinking designers at China's Institute of Engineering Technology. The accolades for the bow nut don't end at its impressive construction capabilities. This machine stands as a pillar of innovation with its creators holding eight patents and having written five articles extensively detailing its groundbreaking design and function. While we're on the topic of impressive builds, one particular instance from the last few years stands out. China's response to the COVID challenge was nothing short of a miracle, to say the least. In a mere six days, they built an entire dedicated hospital to address the pandemic. That's not even a week. And this wasn't some behind-the-scenes top-secret project, nope. They decided to put the whole process up for the world to see. It was live-streamed online, from start to finish. As someone who's always been intrigued by construction and technology, watching that live stream was like getting a front-row seat to a masterclass in efficiency and innovation. It's moments like these that genuinely highlight China's skills in construction technology. I mean, it's one thing to hear about advancements, but to witness it firsthand in such a crucial time speaks volumes about their confidence and expertise. It's kind of inspiring, really. But don't be fooled by all this tech talk. Because some of the initial steps, like pegging out sites, are done just by using good old-fashioned eyesight. But then, to ensure accuracy, they use GPS and surveying tools, often right there on wheelbarrows. So, from their unique blend of old and new construction methods to their cutting-edge technology like the SLJ900, these were stories of how China builds mega projects so fast. Also, if you want to see stories about other mega projects, watch one of these videos right here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.